We worship you, King. We adore you. We honor your name. We we'll glorify your mighty name. Be exalted forever for all that you are. Wherever you are, lift up your voice and just love the Lord. Worship him and speak to him some sweet words of honor and glory and adoration. Let him know that you truly do love him. We honor you, King. We honor you, Lord. We magnify your name. We acknowledge you, King. Thank you for all that you are. Thank you for all your kindness. Thank you for your great mercy and your great love. Blessed be your name forever. Just glorify him and love him and love him. If you can speak in tongues and just love him, go ahead and love him. He's worthy of our worship. He's worthy of our honor. He's worthy of our adoration. From the rising of the sun to the going down, the name of the Lord shall be glorified. We honor you, King. You are so faithful, Lord. Mighty God, exalted King, the first and the last, Alpha and Omega, our God, our salvation, our redemption, our righteousness, the power of God, the wisdom of God. We thank you and honor you, who is like thee, Lord, among God, who is like thee, o Lord. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, working wonders. We bless your name. In your light we see light. In thy countenance, Lord, we live. In you we live, we move and have our being. Be exalted forever. Our God, our friend, our Father, we honor you. Amen and amen. Again, for the month of October, which has not come to be by itself, we said on Tuesday that there is nothing good that ever happens by itself. If it is good, then it is God. God is the doer of all good things. For he is the father of all lights. And he's the one that doeth, giveth every good gift. So we have come to the month of October, not by chance, not by mere happenance, not because we know how to go out and how to come back, not because we know how to sleep and wake up the following morning. He said that I slept and I woke for the Lord sustained me. If you have woken up today, it's because the hand of God was upon you to sustain you. There is no doubt that the enemy wanted you dead today and wanted me dead. But be, all thanks be to our God who has not allowed the enemy to triumph against our lives. When the enemy came in like a flood, the Lord lifted a standard against him. He has fought our battles, some of which we knew and others we'll never know. But all the same, we have seen the victory of our Lord. He has given us victory. He's the one that causes us to triumph in every place, always making us a sweet savor of Christ in every place. Lift up our hands once again to glorify God for bringing us all the way, the month of January, month of February, month of March, month of April, May, June, July, August, September, and now we are in October. It has taken his mighty hand. It has not just come to be. Father, Lord, we are cognizant of your mighty hand upon our lives. You have preserved our going out, our coming in. Be glorified, King of Kings. The terrors of the night have not taken away our lives. You are the reason of our being, Almighty God. We worship you. We acknowledge you, King. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' greatest name. And indeed, God has not brought you to the month of October in vain. Amen. Because God does not waste his time. He does not waste his resources. It is with a purpose. Everything that God does is with a purpose. You have come to the month of October. I want you to know that there is a purpose. There is a reason. God is so intentional. God has an assignment for your life. And that is where you are going to be. May we become all that we are supposed to become the month of October. May we arrive every place that God intends for the month of October. 
May we receive everything we are supposed to receive the month of October. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we address the season, the month of October. In this prayer of commanding the month. And declare that the month of October shall not be barren. It shall not be empty. It shall not be empty. Lift up your hands and begin to speak to the season, the month of October. October, you are not barren to me. You are not, you can never be unfruitful to me. You are not empty, the month of October. I declare and declare, I am becoming all that God wants me to become. I am arriving every place that God desires of me. I am receiving every blessing, spiritual, physical, financial, family, career, destiny, ministry, every blessing that is a package for me the month of October, I receive in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, we thank you and glorify your mighty name. Hallelujah. We put our hands together that the month of October is not empty. It is not empty. It is loaded. It is loaded. It is loaded. And every day, this season is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, Shaka Taraba. Just lift up your hands. Just love the Lord. Just love the Lord. Just love the Lord. Makata Brashalala. Rikata Bashekalabaga. Rikata Labashekolobosa. Rikata Labashekalabaya. Baruzaza. Baride dea. Rikota Labashinde Leviosa. Rikoto Robrazim Redia. Baruzazea. Shanda dea. Mighty Lord. We commit ourselves to his will that the month of October it is not about us but about him. We want to position ourselves to his will for that matter the perfect will. He says I beseech you brethren by the mercies of God that you offer your bodies as living sacrifice which is your reasonable service. He says and do not conform to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that you may know that which is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1, 2. That we may know that which is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. It is the will of God. We only drive in the will of God. Any day you are in the will of God, it shall go well with you. Any day you are in the will of God... You will succeed and prosper in that day. It is the will of God. It is the will of God. The month of October, we commit ourselves to the will of God. You know, Jesus said, My meat I have, which ye know not. And my meat is to do the will of my Father and to finish the work that he has given me. So we must make the will of God our food, our daily food. Oh God, what is your will for me going out today? What is your will as regarding my life, the month of October? What is your will concerning my sons and daughters? What is your will, oh God, concerning my finances? What is your will concerning my time? What do you want with my time, with the 24 hours of my time? Lord, what do you want with my job? What is your will? We are committing ourselves to the will of God, the month of October. It's never late. This day, very, very important. Very, very important. Just the second day, the month of October is never late. Let's lift up our hands. Commit ourselves. It's called a prayer of consecration. To your will, O God. By your spirit, by your word. Mighty Lord, we commit ourselves to your will, the month of October. That we shall not drive ourselves. That we shall not direct ourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that by your spirit, O oh Lord, you will lead us and guide us to that which is your perfect will. In the mighty name of Jesus, in every area of our lives, in every aspect of our lives, Father, Lord, we pray for your will. May you cause us to know your will, to locate your will, to know your will, and Lord, to walk in your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, call Ashanda Dabayando Basaya. Your will, O oh Lord, we pray. 
cause us to hear the voice behind us saying this is the way walk ye in it when we turn to the right to the left oh lord show us the path of life the month of october show us the path of life for in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand your pleasures forever Almighty God, show us your will that you may walk in your will. They just tell not when you left them in the wilderness. Mighty God, lead us to your will. Lead us to your will. Yes, Lord, you are sheep here at thy voice. We, your people, Lord, we desire, we position ourselves for your voice that shall lead us. We trust not on our own selves. Almighty God, we acknowledge you in all our ways. We lean not on our own understanding. Mighty God, direct our path into your will concerning our lives. In every area of our life, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. On that same note, of course, the month of October, you'll be making decisions, important decisions. We pray that every decision that we shall make, whether it is a big decision or a small decision, we shall have the influence of the will of God in every decision. I know some of us right now that your life is waiting for the decision you are going to make. People rise or fall based on the decisions they made. Joshua said, I and my family, we have already made up our mind. We have already made up our decision. We shall serve the Lord. When others are faltering here and there, they are doubting and committed. For me and my family, we shall serve the Lord. And that commitment in that decision gave Joshua and his family a place of destiny. Once again, without tiring, let's lift up our hands. This is a very important prayer. That every decision we are going to make the month of October shall be influenced by the will of God. By the will of God, by the will of God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that every decision we make this season, let it be influenced by your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, that every decision we make in the marketplace, in the business place, in our offices, in our home, concerning our finances, our businesses, everything we do, our family, every decision we make this time, we pray the influence of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty praise. You believe he has answered our prayer. Oh yes, in Jesus' name. The month of October shall be a great season. I say it shall be a great season. I say it shall be a great season. October, here you are, this second day. You cannot be otherwise but take shape according to the prophetic word. Amen. Our season of empowerment for kingdom prosperity. Yes. That is what you are to us. The month of October, we speak to you. You cannot be contrary. You cannot be opposite. You cannot be the reverse. You are to us a season of empowerment for kingdom prosperity. That somebody shall rise by the hand of God economically situations financial situations begin to change by the hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus business situation real situation job situation let's lift up our hands one more time begin to declare that the word of the season shall come to pass it will surely come to pass it will surely come to pass it will surely come to pass oh Rabba Shakata Bakata bashala bayada dosa reko shande brani zotele bredia in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. We see the Lord performing His good word because none of His good promises that have failed to come to pass, and His word shall not return to Him void as the rains and as the snow that falleth. His word will surely come to pass. If you believe it, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a Holy Communion service. I will encourage you to be prepared because today as we conclude
the prayer journey. This was our prayer week, or it is our prayer week. And we, we ask that you could join us in prayer and fasting just for three days. Those that were able to do more, very okay. But from Wednesday to date, or to this hour, that uh, we do prayer and fasting. And fasting has to do with whatever you abstain from so that you can be able to have a good time with God while we do the fasting. Fasting is not something that compels God. It is not like God had refused to do something to us so that when we go now to fasting, we are now pushing him. It is not a push we are giving him. On the contrary, fasting, what does, what fasting does, I hope you can get me clearly, what fasting does is to push you so that you can be able to receive what God had already released. The giving side of God has never had a challenge. It is always on the human side that is not able to receive. In the book of Acts chapter 19, Paul asked the church of Ephesus, did you receive the Holy Ghost when you believed? It was not a question of, were you given the Holy Spirit when you believed? It was, did you receive? You see, there is a giving and there is a receiving. Many times, we are the ones that are challenged. So by prayer and fasting, we are dealing with ourselves. We are saying that I shall not eat, I shall not drink, I will not give myself to the TV and other luxuries and comforts of the time so that I can have ample time with my God. So that I can be available unto God because when you are so much in the flesh, you are absent from God. And when you are absent from the flesh, you'll be present in the, in the spirit. That is very important. That's why we fast. So fasting is not something like, So that we can avail ourselves, we can position ourselves to receive what God has already given us. If it is healing, God has already given us healing. If it is kingdom prosperity, he has already released it. If it is peace, God has already given it. There is nothing that we are asking God that he has not yet given us. We saw that in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 32. That seeing that he did not spare his only son or his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? By giving us Jesus, he has given us all things. There is nothing that we are asking God that God has not given us. So prayer and fasting is a type of spiritual positioning for the believer so that we can receive. Lift up your hands and say, in the name of Jesus. I think we can do better. Those that are in the sanctuary, let's lift up and say, in the name of Jesus, I declare everything that God has released on my life, I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. And I have no doubt, amen, that the month of October, there are great wonderful things that God has released for you. God is for you, never against you. Do you know God has never thought evil about you? God has never planned evil, not even one minute. Even when we are not good to him, God has not planned evil. God has not planned evil. That's why even when we were sinners, he killed his only son for us. A good God gave his very best for the very worst. So God has never imagined evil, planned evil against your life. He says, for I know the plans I have for you. It is for good and not for evil. So if you see evil happening, it can never be God. If there is any element of evil in your life, it is not God at work. Jesus said that a man went to sow and he planted with his, 
staff members, they planted wheat, the seeds of wheat. But as they went to sleep, a gentleman, uh, an enemy came and planted evil seeds. Now, when the seeds, when the crop came up, the staff members of this farmer, they came to the farmer and asked him, we planted good seeds. What happened that now we are having tears? Then he said, an enemy did it. It is, if it is not good, it must be the devil. If it is not good, it, is, it must be the devil. Because the devil comes, who is the thief. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Sickness is not good. Poverty is not good. Confusion is not good. Frustration is not good. If it is not good, it is not God. Say in the name of Jesus, the month of October, whatever that is not of God, it is never my portion. Say I refuse anything that is not of God. It has no place in my life. I position myself to receive all things that are coming from God. Put your hands together. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. You have come to the month of October. You will finish well the month of October. You will go to the month of November. You will finish well the month of November. You will see the month of December. You will see December 31st in peace, never in pieces. You will still be alive. You that is hearing my voice, whether you are in the physical sanctuary, you are on Facebook, on radio, you have heard my voice, not by incidence, not by happiness, not by chance. As you have heard my voice today, I declare, you will enter and see 2021 in glory, never in shame. Never in sickness, I hear in my spirit that somebody's finances that have been on the floor, God is lifting you higher. God is raising you once again. Oh yes, you shall rise again. Do not laugh at me, my enemies. Even when I fall, for yet I shall rise up again. Somebody say, I'm rising up again. Glory to God. For arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon thee. Oh yes, the light of God shall be seen upon you. Now, the month of October, please get this quickly. The month of October, by divine leading, has been labeled unto us as a season of empowerment for kingdom prosperity. Yes, we can clap our hands and appreciate Oh yes, empowerment for kingdom prosperity. Now, please note carefully, I did not say prosperity. I said kingdom prosperity. I've told people again and again, don't accuse me of being a preacher of prosperity. I'm not a pros prosperity preacher. But I am a kingdom prosperity preacher. That one I am. I preach the kingdom prosperity, not just prosperity. We saw that yesterday that God's desire for you, God's plan for you, God's delight for you is when you prosper. Psalms 35 verse 27. Psalms 20, 35 verse 27. We saw that and especially we saw it in the other versions. I think we saw it in the Message Bible or NIV. And it came out very powerful. But those who want the best for me, he says, let them, let them have the last word. Hey, look at that. Those, but those who want the best for me, let them have the last word. We are the ones who want the best for the God's kingdom, for the kingdom of God. And let them have the last word. After all is said and done, you will still have the last word in Jesus' mighty name. They have said about your finances coming down. They have said about auctioning you. They have said about your downfall. But after this, you, will, you are the one to have the last word in Jesus' mighty name. 
He says, this is what they shall say, the last word. Yes, a glad shout and say over and over and over. God is great. Somebody say, God is great. And we are told to shout that one. That verse is telling us to shout these words. God is great. So we shout, God is great. Somebody shout, God is great. And then we are told to shout, everything works together for good for his servants. Let's shout louder. Everything is working together for my good as a servant of God. So we are not only saying, we are told to shout. We are not only saying that God is, God is great and that he is the one that is working all things together. We are to shout it because the Lord delights in the prosperity of his servant. So this shall be a season of empowerment. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Oh yes, Deuteronomy 8 18. Now let's go to King James. Oh, hallelujah. King James says, Deuteronomy 8, 18, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Say loud, I remember the Lord my God. Say loud, I remember the Lord my God. Mm. Now when you are told to remember, that means there is a tendency, a temptation to forget. I remember the Lord my God. What do I remember about him? For it is he that giveth the power to get well. Somebody say power to get well. Oh yes. Let's say louder power to get well. And it says that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. So there is a covenant that he established with our fathers. Now those those that are extremists and exaggerated believers of grace, they will say, you are reading from the Old Testament. Deuteronomy is in the Old Testament. But look, he has said according to the covenant that he made with our forefathers. And we are told that by putting on Christ, now we have become the seed of Abraham. Oshakatabakaya. By getting saved, you have become the seed of Abraham. That means you can now call Abraham my father. We have become the sons of Abraham. Galatians chapter 3 verse 27. Galatians chapter 3 verse 27. Now we have become, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Move on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Look at that. So Christ is an equalizer. You don't have to have been born in Israel a Jew. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. Hallelujah. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Then 29. For if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So if you belong to Christ, you have become the seed of Abraham. And Deuteronomy has said, you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he that gives you power to get well, that he may establish his covenant, which he made with your forefathers. Which father? Father Abraham, Father Isaac, and Father Jacob. He said, I am the Lord God of your fathers. Which fathers? Father Abraham, Father Isaac, Father Jacob. Today as a believer in Meru 2020, you can lift up your hands and say, the God of my father Abraham. You can call the God of the father Isaac. You can call the God of father Jacob. He says, you shall remember, I am the Lord God that gives you power to get well. So that I can be able to fulfill the covenant that I made 
with your forefathers, Father Abraham. So that is relevant, it is consistent, and it belongs to the Christian and the believer of this time. Say louder, the God of my fathers. Oh, I wish we can say like we meet the Lord, the Lord God of my fathers, Father Abraham, Father Isaac, and Father Jacob. Empower me. Say louder, empower me to get well. It is called empowerment for kingdom prosperity. He empowered Father Abraham. He was able to prosper the kingdom way. God empowered Father Isaac. He was able to prosper the kingdom way. God empowered Father Jacob. He was able to prosper the kingdom way. Not the world's way. The world's way is easy. You just need to steal. The world's way just means just working hard. But we are talking about the blessings of God upon your life. That it is God at work causing you to prosper. Causing you to succeed. Causing you to get profits. Causing things to go well with you. Every area of your life. You shall remember it is the Lord your God that gives you power to get well. So the month of October we shall be empowered. God will continually, with every teaching, with every prayer, with the graces that God is releasing, is an empowerment so that we can be able to succeed and prosper the kingdom way. If you are one of them, say amen. Hallelujah. If you are one of them, you can say a big amen. I quickly appreciate Beatrice Shizia. I see you are there following. My daughter, I see Isaac Mwabia. I see Frank Kenoti, my son. I see Ben Roberts. I see Karen Mongania. I see John Mothuri. I see, see Tina Cash. I see Margaret Jerry. I see Sheru Wilson. Uh, Joan Equi, I see you. Mary Moretti, I see you. John Kamau. Uh -huh. I see every one of you, Chris Candy. I see you. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. God is doing something great. Wonderful. I see all of you. I see Annie. Any Godspeed, I see Chris Candy, I see a uh, favor, Amar, a uh, Fosia, Mulgo, I see Win Mwesh, Aha, uh -huh. I see Fona Kemaita, I see Blessed Do uh, Modesta, Karen Mongalia, Cynthia Kana Anana, uh, Nana, Cynthia Nana, I see you, Charles Jagge, all of you, I see you, Faith, Faith Mugweka, I see Anwai Thera, you are always there from Nakuru. God bless you, every one of you. Alusa Mutetia, God bless you, every one of you. Sharon from Embu, wonderful. Uh, see Jackie, Jackie Gikomene, Anne, uh, Nelson, uh, wonderful. Sambur from Sambur, Brian, Baraka, Do, I see I see Dorica from Kageta, Masi, uh, I see Trophy, and I see Mwena, I see uh, Fenas, Royri, I see can you all, all of you, I see all of you wonderful people. God bless you. Let's appreciate these wonderful people that are with us tonight. And sharing is a blessing. So we're going to partake the Holy Communion. How do I partake the Holy Communion? It's a Holy Communion for empowerment. We are getting started in this journey of kingdom prosperity empowerment as we partake the communion. This is very important. You remember in Job, the book of Job 22 from verse 1. Job 22 from verse 1. Very important. Uh, uh, Job 22 from verse 21. From verse 21. Let's have some scriptures there. We read quickly. But be ready at home. Prepare some food substance and some drink substance. Very, very important. Some food substance, some drink substance. Be ready. Because in a short while we shall be partaking the communion. Now you don't have to be a member of GGV. You can be from any denomination or any church. All you need to do is to be born again. And if you are not born again, you'll have an opportunity right now, in a moment, to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Now, Job 22, verse 21, very important. Makataba shakatarabakaya. Acquaint now thyself with him, that is with God. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. 
22. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. That looks like sanctification. That, that looks like spiritual restoration. You are coming back to God. If you are not born again, you need to be born again. If you are born again and somehow living in a backslidden state, he says, return unto him. And this is that evening of returning unto the Lord. Then he says what shall happen. Verse 24. Then shall thou lay up gold as dust. And the gold of offer as the stones of the brooks. Look at that. Yeah, the almighty shall be thy defense. Thou shalt have plenty of silver. So verse 21 to 24 is a call to acquaint ourselves with him. To be restored back spiritually. Because our spirituality determines our standing with God. And our standing with God determines how we receive from him. Verse 21 to 24 is a call to spiritual restoration. He that had fallen, let him rise up again. He that had backslidden, let him stand again. He that is still afar off from God, let him now come closer, acquaint thyself. And of course, through Jesus Christ. And then verse 25. Yes, verse 25. He has said, verse 24, that you shall have plenty. You shall have the gold. You shall be able to prosper. There is a prosperity that is connected. Or let me say, the kingdom prosperity is directly connected to our spirituality. Because the more you acquaint yourself with him, Vile unabio zidi kumjua buwana na kuwa karibu nae. Anasema ya kwamba hivyo ndivyo atakupa uweza. Wakweza kufanikiwa. Utakuwa na dhahabu. Kama mchanga. Utakuwa na, na wingi wa, 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 wa feather. Utakuwa mebarikiwa. Kwa hivyo kuna iyo husiano mwingi sana. Kwamba hali yako ya kiroho inamanisha. You are command in terms of kingdom uh, prosperity. Acquaint yourself with God. Acquaint yourself with God. That's where it begins. Acquaint yourself with loving God. Love him and seek him all the more. And walk with him. Acquaint thyself with him. Peace and good shall come on your side. Kingdom prosperity will come on your side. The month of October, we start by acquainting ourselves to God. Some of us, we are living in backslidden state, I say again. But this is the time to rise up again. You cannot be empowered by a God who is who you are far off from him. He's not the one that is running from us. But we are the ones running from him. Tonight, if you can acquaint yourself with him, then good shall come. You shall be restored. You shall be healed physically, emotionally, Mentally, family wise, financially, business, career, destiny, ministry. If you acquaint yourself with Him, you shall be built up. There shall be a restoration. Hallelujah. So, as we partake this communion, it's called Holy Communion because it's a fellowship, it's a closeness, it's an intimacy, it's a oneness. It's a oneness. Is a oneness. Is a oneness. John chapter 6, verse 56. The last one now. Then we partake the communion. John chapter 6, verse 56. Makataba shakataya. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. You become one. That's an acquaintance. He that eateth my flesh. And drinketh my blood, I dwell in him and him in me. Look at that. We become one. A perfect acquaintance, a perfect unity. By this communion, that is to say, at the communion table is a time to acquaint ourselves with the Lord. It's a time to be drawn all the more to him. Our sins are forgiven at the communion. 
I've always told some people that you should not be kept away from the communion because you are feeling unworthy by reason of how you have lived. This is the place of forgiveness. Even if you have committed some sin, at the communion, the blood of Jesus is speaking mercy. It is the table that forgives you. It's the place of your spiritual restoration. You ask for forgiveness and you are restored there. I have never understood and I have never seen the scriptural that you will leave the communion table to go seek for forgiveness somewhere else. At the time of communion, that is a place of forgiveness. Jesus wants to forgive you. He wants to cleanse you. He wants to sanctify you. He wants to restore you at the communion. And then you become one. A perfect union. And that acquittance, then good shall begin to come to you. At the Holy Communion is a place we are declaring that we are in unity with him. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are there, you are not born again. Or you have backslidden. Or you, for whatever reason you are not sure whether you are born again. You have a wonderful moment right now. Don't say, they will say that again next week. No. Don't say, the pastor will invite me again to get saved. This is the moment. Don't lose this opportunity. Don't say, I will wait until on Sunday when I go to church. This is a grand moment that you have. Don't lose this opportunity. Don't lose this great opportunity. There is a reason why you are listening to me right now. Wherever you are, if you are not born again, this is the hour. Why do you want to spend one more minute without Jesus? Jesus is good. You don't lose good things when you come to Jesus. You only lose bad things. Like going to hell. Like being troubled here by the devil. Jesus came that you may have life. That you may have life in abundance. You will have the kingdom life on the face of the earth. And eternity with him. You have that opportunity. Don't lose this opportunity. Kunawale ambot labda. Dio meokoka. Lakini ujui kama uko pande hii ama pande nyingine. Uko katikati hapo. Yesu anakuita wakati huu. Nitaomba pamoja nawe. Utaweza kuridedicate your life to Jesus. Na Yesu atakusamehe, atakuosha. Utapatake the communion. Na utaanza safari mwezi huu mpya. Utaanza safari ya kupata nguvu ya kiungu katika kustawi. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. So, utaludia nyuma yangu. Maybe you can start in English for those that maybe need it in English. Say, Lord Jesus. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died and rose again. Thank you for loving me this much. Thank you for your great mercy. Write my name in the book of life. Today, I accept salvation. I'm a new creation. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Kwa kiswahili tafadhari, wali ambawa kwa sawa na kiswahili, sema bwana yesu, siku ya leo, na kupokea kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu nisamehe nitakaze nioshe dhambi zangu na siku ya leo andika jina langu kwa kitabu cha uzima leo hii nimekili kwamba Yesu ni bwana alikufa na akafufuka na leo hii nimeokoka nimefanyika kiumbe kipya asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa amen I have no doubt that somebody has prayed that prayer. Please tuwapigia makofi mahali popoto walipo. Amen. Wali ambao tuko ndani ya kanisa tuwapigia makofi kwa imani. Mahali popoto walipo. Amen. Glory to God. Na kama umeomba hilo ombi, tafadhari, utanijurisha ya kwamba umefanya hilo ombi la kuokoka. You will let me know that you have made that prayer of getting saved wherever you are. Whether you are going to, whether you have just received the Lord Jesus Christ right now, or even later, those that are going to follow, especially on Facebook, let us know. On this number, 0706-127-910. Hatuta choka. 0706-127-910. Or on Airtel, 0733-788-188. Airtel is 0733-788-188. Eight, eight. Mambo haya naonekana yakiwa very simple. Labda watu wengine wataona kama ni kipumbafu. Hata watu wengine wanaona hiyo mambo wao wako juu ya hiyo. 
But let me tell you, there is no other way you can have the kingdom life other than to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, come on, your coke and alcohol. You are right now ready to receive the communion. Na kila mwingine yoyote mahali popote alipo. So whatever your food substance is, it doesn't have to be very ecclesiastical as mine. You can hold for me. It doesn't have to be very ecclesiastical for me. Whatever you have, ata kama ni kipande cha mkate, ama biscuit, ama 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 nini hiyo? Ama chapati, chochote kile, you just need to have faith. So whatever you are, you can hold it. Your drink, it doesn't have to be something so special. Inaweza kuwa ni juice ama soda ama maji ama chai lakini sikuwe moto sikuwe moto sana sikuchome but something just just something because it's about faith so whatever you have right now whatever you are and you don't have to be at home unaweza kuwa hata kwa ofisi unaweza kuwa katika biashara yako you can still do this because you are not bound we are not bound by religion jesus is our master so whatever you are you can hold the body or the food substance. I declare and declare that this is not ordinary. Almighty God, we call it the body. And as we partake, we declare, we enter to that perfect union. We declare that we are in that union with Christ. He is in us and we are in him. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare that by the stripes on his body, we were healed. And as we partake this one, symbolic right now, we declare in Jesus' mighty name, our sicknesses disappear from now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, now you can take the drink as well, we declare that drink is not ordinary. Whatever drink you have right now, whatever you are, I dedicate it right now from this studio, from this altar, to your home, to your place, to your business premises. It is no longer ordinary. I call it the blood of Jesus. And as we partake right now, we declare this is the blood that washed away our sins when Jesus died on the cross. And by the blood of Jesus, we have overcome the evil one. We declare sanctification by the blood of Jesus. Somebody that has backslidden, May they be restored today. Let their sins be forgiven. Let there go to be a restoration back to the walk of faith and to the journey of the kingdom life. I declare evil harassment, demonic attacks, people that cannot sleep at night as soon as they partake this communion. Those demonic attacks come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual husbands, Terror in the night, in the dreams. Confusions in the mind. Sickness in the body. Frustration in finances. Failure in business. Chaos in the family life. Let them be ended today as we partake the communion. This is not ordinary. Take it by faith. Take the body by faith. Take the body by faith. Whatever it is. And the blood also. That wherever you are, even at home, just stand in reference of the presence of God, even those that are in the sanctuary. Let's stand. And begin to give thanks to the Lord. Believe that you have received. Believe that you have received. Believe that you have received. Believe you have received. Believe you have received. You receive your healing right now. 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 Receive your healing from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shaka Tabagada. Wale ambo tulioko hapa kanisani, tunaweza kupiga makofi, tukemshukuru buwana. Ata pale nyumbani, sasa hivi, 
Weka mikono yako pamoja ukimshukuru Bwana kwamba umepokea uponyaji wako umepokea breakthrough yako umepokea na nguvu za Bwana katika maisha yako umerejeshwa tena umetakasika umesimama tena katika jina la Yesu in the mighty name of Jesus mighty God we thank you father thank you lord as we lift up our hands we receive empowerment for kingdom prosperity we command the north the south the east and the west to yield unto us in Jesus mighty name we declare money coming our way right now business shall blossom right now people in some financial crisis you have not paid your house rent you have pay, you have not paid areas you are supposed to pay we declare in Jesus mighty name divine intervention for you right now we declare miracles in Jesus name somebody you have never seen a financial miracle may you receive from this hour this season may god rescue you this season may god give you a breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus may your business prosper may you make profit that you have not made any any of late in the name of Jesus i declare in Jesus mighty name kora bashanda dada and by that communion and by the word you are receiving right now i declare a covering over your life premature death never your portion i say accident shall not take away your life i declare evil hand shall not take away your life i say diseases will not take away your life touch the place you were sick and receive your healing right now in the mighty name of jesus thank you father we give you all the praise and it is done it is done it is done it is done hallelujah it is done yes give him praise it is done give him praise it is done give him praise it is done hallelujah thank you father you will still rise up again in jesus mighty name amen and amen please let's give the lord a mighty hand of praise amen Remember, you can always forward your testimony or your prayer request. The same same numbers that we have on the screen that I've mentioned, and let us know what God is doing. If you want a personal ministration, either here physically, we are available. God bless you. Thank you so much, and have a great time. Remember, joy is not a happenance. Joy is a choice, and it is a working of the Holy Ghost in your life. The joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. And God bless you. Amen.